I started working with tape loops in 1978, when I was 20 years old. Why? It was the only thing available to me that I could afford. My partner James Elaine was an amazing record collector and musicologist and he had everything. He worked at a record store. He came home with records every day. He would turn me on to all this stuff. So I got to hear, coming out of music school, where everything was 12-tone music and serial music and stuff that I didn't like, and then being turned on to Steve Reich, Brian Eno, John Cage, all this stuff. Um, all the, forget about, all the German experimental Klaus Schulz, Connie Plank, you know, I can't even name all of them right now, but um, having that field opened up to me, and also, you know, um, on the back of the, uh, I think it's uh, Discreet Music, I can't remember which album it is, but they showed how they did the Frippertronics, and it was two tape decks, one tape deck going into another tape deck and sending it back to this tape deck. So this is how they did the feedback loops. So I went and around the corner and bought some tape decks and started experimenting. I didn't know what I was doing, I was just doing it but I was getting results. All my buddies were painters. They were painting. So I was painting in my own way and creating these soundtracks they loved. They were the first ones that loved it and they're painting and like, yeah, these long time-based things that they can like just paint in their studio and fall into a, an eternal moment and get their paintings going. So this is how it started and um, you know, it took 25 or 30 years for it to kind of hit, so I was pretty upset about that. <laughs> Especially when I was really young. It's like, when's somebody gonna get it? Oh, fucking hell. looping something, I don't know how long that big of a loop is, but it's pretty short. It has to be absolutely flawless for it to not sound like just a repetitive like earworm of some pop song or something, you know. I like to listen to my own work. It might sound weird to people, but if I can stand it for 20 years, maybe it's good enough to release, you know. I want to achieve an eternal moment. This is what I've always wanted. This is why I create the work I do. Mm -hmm. 